Hi guys, and today we're going to go through unemployment, the different ways we can calculate unemployment, and the different types of unemployment. So the first way of calculating unemployment is through this claimant count here, and what this does is that it looks solely at just benefits. So here we have just benefits. So that's looking at things such as job seekers allowance. And this is a government figure and they're just looking at the number of people claiming these sorts of benefits here. Now obviously there is a disadvantage to using this claimant count in that it's only looking at people who are old enough to work because they can claim job seekers allowance. So that's people over the age of 18. So 18 to 60 years old. So people over 60, they're not included, and people under 18 aren't included. So one could say that this is an unreliable way to see how much unemployment there is in the economy. Also, there might be a black market. People might claim benefits while still working. Therefore, this could lead to a figure showing too many people unemployed, whilst actually there is much less people unemployed, but more people are claiming these benefits, but they're actually working. So the second way of calculating unemployment is for this labour force survey. So this is just a survey of asking about 60,000 people whether they are unemployed and looking for work. This differs from the claimant count, claimant count in that the claimant count is just looking at people on benefits. This is asking people in a survey. Okay. So there are also different types, different types of unemployment, and the first type of unemployment is frictional unemployment. This is where people change from occupations. So, for example, a student changing into a different job role. So changing from university into a job is frictional unemployment because he's frictionally moving to a different job. So you can think of friction as moving because when you move from one job to another there's friction. So this frictional unemployment isn't actually that bad because it's just moving from one job to another. It isn't other types of unemployment where it's long term, this is just changing. So you just write that down there, it's just changing changing jobs. That's all you need to know about frictional unemployment. It's just changing the jobs from one job to another. So the second type of unemployment is structural un unemployment and this is where the whole structure so the whole structure of the economy is changing. So that's where the job type changes. So an example of this is in the 1970s where a lot of people a lot of miners were made unemployed because the structure of the economy was changing to more office type jobs. So when you have structural unemployment it's where a country is changing the structure of its employment. So it's changing what type of jobs there are. So for this one just put change so change in job types. This is usually quite bad. And often you can get this in developing countries where the jobs of that country start to change so it's the structure. So all you need to remember is the structure of the economy changing. So the next type of unemployment is seasonal unemployment. And the clues in the name, it's just all about seasons. So for example, this could be caused in the summer months when there's lots of jobs. And then when we change to the winter period, less people go on holiday. So there's seasonal unemployment in the winter because people aren't working in those holiday jobs. So here we can just write holiday jobs, etc. There could be other forms of seasonal unemployment such as working in a bar for example it doesn't have to be especially located on just holidays it can be around things that are usually more popular in the summer so the last type of unemployment is cyclical unemployment and this is all about economic cycles so the sick as the cycles are and it's all about like boom and bust periods and when you're in this they um, bust period, so when you're in uh, in a recession for example, 
there is not enough demand in the economy and therefore you get forms of unemployment. This is the type of unemployment that we have in our country at the moment and this generally is the worst kind of unemployment because it shows that the economy is doing bad. So this is um, recession linked and often this can be called deficient demand unemployment so that means that there isn't enough demand in the economy and times are generally bad but if we look back at the other types of unemployment like seasonal they aren't so bad because it's just related to the weather or seasons and that can't be too much affected by the government if this video has helped you then please hit the like button to show other AS students of this video and if my tutorials have helped you in any way then please hit the like button on my Facebook page the link will be in the description box thank you